in our previous video we had seen what is a tree data structure and why it is so important now we will start modifying our tree and we will call it binary tree and uh, it's clear from the name binary means two so what is the importance of two here in this tree so uh, all the tree vocabulary that we learned in our previous lesson remains applicable in the case of binary tree as well so root children parent leaves all are applicable now let's see what is a binary tree so here we have a tree whose nodes can have at most two children so at most does not mean exactly two every node cannot have two children because some where down the line you will have leaf nodes which by definition have zero children so any node can have uh, zero children one child like this or two child but not more than two so zero two two children zero one two and since here we have at max two children we name them as left child and right child this is not uh, possible in the case of generic tree where we can have uh, tens or hundreds of child so there we can maintain it in some linear data structure or there may be some different way of doing that and we will look at that in some different forms of tree which are not binary for example two four tree where it can have two three or four children so every node will have two values and then it can have at max three children so these are not binary trees two four three we will see that later now let's uh, do some quick exercise based on this small constraint and we have to identify which of these are binary tree and which is not so here we see that one has two children two and three so this is correct similarly two has zero which is also correct it can have any value zero one or two similarly three also has two four has zero five has zero so all of the nodes qualify and this is a binary tree similarly here one has one two also has one so it may look like a linear structure but it's valid binary tree because every node has uh, from zero to two trees so this has zero children this has one 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 so it uh, does not validate the condition so this is also a binary tree here one satisfies it three satisfies it but two you see two has three children so it's validated at two and this is not a binary tree now this again is a binary tree by the same logic that we saw here each node has one children except this last leaf which has zero so it's also valid here it's just one node which is 10 and this itself is a binary tree because it does not violate any of the properties now let's see how we can represent binary uh, trees so a tree is represented by a pointer to root, root node so you may feel that i have to represent uh, it by all the nodes but that is not required because once you have pointer to root you know that it can have only two children so left and right so if you have root if you want to access let's say four then what will you do so we want to access four and we are given this root so we will write root right so this will come here so root right represents three root left represents two so root right we reach here at three then four is the left of three so again left so you see uh, we can reach to any node just starting from the root any node is accessible from root so we just represent root as a tree similar similarly in the linked list we just uh, have a pointer to the head node head of the linked list and from there we can traverse to any node in the linked list we don't need to store all the lists 
this node is pointing to next node this is pointing to next so once we have access to this head node we can reach anywhere in the list similarly here in the tree once we have access to root we can reach any part of the tree so it's represented as pointed to root and what if root is null so if even root is null then the tree is empty the tree has zero nodes because if tree has any node then the topmost node is the root by definition so if it's null that then that means it has zero nodes and a tree node is represented as a data and this data can be very complex data not just integer or character then pointer to the left child pointer to the right child in uh, real applications you can have more pointers like pointer to parent which can make some of the tasks very easy and some more uh, pointers like pointer to siblings but in plain uh, binary tree we will just use these three values and if we are writing a code in any language let's say in c++ then we can define a structure called node and within that we can have any type of data not just uh, basic types like int char but any other custom type like class a then you can have data of type that class also and pointer to left child and what is left child this root is a node similarly this left child is also a node all the nodes are of same type so the left child is also a pointer to the same structure node and similarly node star right and we will use this node structure when we are solving the different problems of binary and binary search trees later in the course